Welcome to Celestial Chronicles. Today, we're going to dive deep into one of the most pivotal moments in Islamic history, the conquest of Mecca by the Prophet Muhammad. This monumental event took place on the 13th day of Ramadan in the 8th year of the Hijra, and it marks a turning point not just in the history of Islam, but in the history of the entire world. To truly understand the significance of the conquest of Mecca, we need to go back in time and explore the events that led up to this historic day. Our story begins in Mecca, where the Prophet Muhammad was born and where he first began preaching the message of Islam. At that time, Mecca was a city deeply entrenched in polytheism. The Kaaba, which is now the holiest site in Islam, was then a shrine filled with idols representing various gods and goddesses worshipped by the people of Mecca. The Prophet Muhammad began his mission by calling the people of Mecca to monotheism, urging them to abandon their idols and worship the one true God, Allah. This message was met with fierce resistance from the Quraysh, the powerful tribe that controlled Mecca. The Quraysh saw Muhammad's teachings as a direct threat to their power and the lucrative pilgrimage trade centered around the Kaaba. Despite the intense persecution, the Prophet Muhammad and his followers, known as Muslims, remained steadfast in their faith. They endured years of hardship, including boycotts, social ostracism, and even physical attacks. Eventually, the situation in Mecca became so unbearable that Muhammad and his followers were forced to leave their homes and migrate to the city of Medina, an event known as the Hijra. This migration marks the beginning of the Islamic calendar. In Medina, the Muslim community found a new home and began to grow in strength. The city became a haven for Muslims, and the Prophet Muhammad established a constitution that allowed different tribes and religious groups to live together in harmony. However, the Quraysh of Mecca did not relent in their hostility. They launched several attacks on the Muslim community in Medina, leading to a series of battles, including the Battle of Badr, the Battle of Uhud, and the Battle of the Trench. Despite these challenges, the Muslim community continued to grow in number and strength. The turning point came with the Treaty of Hudaybiyah, a peace agreement between the Muslims and the Quraysh. This treaty allowed for a period of peace during which the message of Islam spread even further. However, the peace was short-lived. The Quraysh violated the treaty, giving the Prophet Muhammad a just cause to take action. With a force of around 10,000 Muslims, the Prophet Muhammad marched towards Mecca. This was a meticulously planned and brilliantly executed campaign. As the Muslim army approached Mecca, they made camp just outside the city. The Prophet Muhammad sent a message to the Quraysh, offering them peace if they would surrender without a fight. The Quraysh, realizing the futility of resistance against such a large and determined force, agreed to surrender. On the 13th day of Ramadan, the Prophet Muhammad entered Mecca. This was not a conquest marked by bloodshed or revenge, but one of mercy and forgiveness. The Prophet Muhammad declared a general amnesty for the people of Mecca. He ordered that no one should be harmed and that those who sought refuge in their homes, in the Kaaba, or in the house of Abu Sufyan, a leading figure of the Quraysh, would be safe. The Prophet Muhammad then went to the Kaaba, which was still filled with idols. He entered the sacred sanctuary and, with a staff in his hand, began to destroy the idols, declaring, truth has come, and falsehood has vanished. This powerful act symbolized the end of idolatry in Mecca and the establishment of monotheism. The people of Mecca, witnessing the mercy and generosity of the Prophet Muhammad, began to embrace Islam. The conquest of Mecca was not just a military victory, it was a spiritual and moral triumph. It marked the moment when the heart of the Arabian Peninsula was won over to Islam, paving the way for the rapid spread of the faith throughout the region and beyond. Every year, Muslims around the world commemorate the conquest of Mecca on the 31st of December. This celebration is not just about remembering a historical event, it is about honoring the values of mercy, forgiveness, and the triumph of truth over falsehood. The Prophet Muhammad's conquest of Mecca is a timeless example of how compassion and justice can transform societies. Let's delve deeper into some of the key moments and lessons from this extraordinary event. One of the most remarkable aspects of the conquest of Mecca is the Prophet Muhammad's decision to forgive his former enemies. Among those granted amnesty were individuals who had caused him immense personal suffering. This act of forgiveness is a profound lesson in mercy and reconciliation. It teaches us that true strength lies not in seeking revenge, but in showing compassion and giving people a chance to change. Another important lesson from the conquest of Mecca is the strategic and peaceful approach taken by the Prophet Muhammad. Despite having a powerful army at his disposal, he chose to minimize bloodshed and offer peace. This approach not only ensured a smooth transition of power but also won the hearts and minds of the people of Mecca. It demonstrates the importance of using wisdom and diplomacy to resolve conflicts.
The transformation of the Kaaba from a shrine filled with idols to the central place of worship in Islam is also significant. The Kaaba, believed to have been built by the Prophet Ibrahim, Abraham, and his son Ismail, Ishmael, was restored to its original purpose as a symbol of monotheism. This act reinforced the core message of Islam, the worship of one God, Allah. The story of the conquest of Mecca also highlights the importance of faith and perseverance. The Muslims faced tremendous challenges and endured great hardships, but their unwavering faith and determination led them to ultimate victory. This serves as an inspiration for all of us to remain steadfast in our beliefs and to trust in the power of faith to overcome obstacles. Moreover, the peaceful conquest of Mecca set a precedent for future Islamic conquests. It established the principles of mercy, justice, and respect for human dignity as fundamental aspects of Islamic governance. These principles were later reflected in the way the early Muslim caliphs ruled their vast empire, ensuring that diverse communities could live together in peace and harmony. As we reflect on the conquest of Mecca, it's essential to remember that this event is not just a historical milestone for Muslims. It is a moment that shaped the course of world history. The values and lessons from the conquest continue to resonate today, offering guidance on how to build a just and compassionate society. The annual celebration of the conquest of Mecca on December 31st is a time for Muslims to come together and reflect on these values. It is a time to renew their commitment to the principles of mercy, forgiveness, and justice. By commemorating this event, Muslims honor the legacy of the Prophet Muhammad and the transformative power of his message. In conclusion, the conquest of Mecca is a powerful story of faith, resilience, and compassion. It teaches us that true victory lies not in conquering lands, but in conquering hearts. The Prophet Muhammad's example of mercy and forgiveness serves as a timeless reminder of the power of compassion to bring about positive change. Thank you for joining us on Celestial Chronicles to explore this incredible chapter in Islamic history. We hope this deep dive into the conquest of Mecca has given you a greater understanding of its significance and the timeless lessons it offers. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with others who are interested in learning more about the rich history and profound teachings of Islam. Until next time, may peace and blessings be upon you.